It is the 29th of the 1st, 2013, and this is today's climate change update. I'm going to begin tonight with um, a little shout out to Kevin Blanche. He just put out a video, um, some pretty powerful stuff there, brother. As a fellow artist, uh, I do agree. Um, these videos are becoming more about history uh, than actual current events because um, it just, no matter what we say or do, you know, the, the, the insanity continues. It just continues. So, for everybody else, buckle up. It's going to be a good one. Sot.net. Enormous sinkhole swallows buildings in China. Um... Gungzhou, G-U-A-N-G-Z-H-U-Z-H-O-U in China. Several buildings have fallen into an enormous sinkhole, destroying at least five shops and taking out power for over 3,000 residential units nearby. Sea change. The Bay of Beng um, Bengal's vanishing islands. Uh, they're doing a disappearing islands off the coast of, of uh, India. Rapid erosion and rising sea levels increasingly threatening the existence of islands off the coast of Bangladesh and in India. And they go on to a story of the, the people are dealing with the, with, the, with the sinking islands. They're actually sinking. There's nothing to do with uh, the, the Pacific Plate that's cracked right there and uh, things that are in motion. The NOAA, coastal effects of climate change threaten 50% of Americans. And uh, they're just saying people are live really close to the coastline, the more susceptible to Hurricane Sandy-like storms and situations. And, uh, of course, we need to pay our carbon tax, don't we? Canada. Dozens of dead seals found on PEI Beach. Uh, the Department of Fisheries and Oceans are investigating after dozens of dead seals were found on a beach in, in the waters off of Prince Edward Island. A pretty sad story indeed, and they have a video. Heavy snowfall closes dozens of roads in Turkey. Uh, the severe weather is global, and um, some big storms running through. Underground explosion in Nebraska leads to pillars of fire bursting from manholes. An underground electrical equipment fire caused a power outage in parts of downtown Omaha Sunday night. As of 10.30 a.m. Monday, uh, the OPPD reported less than 100 customers in the area are still without power. And uh, yes, it was a pretty crazy story there. England, bad weather to blame for dead starfish washed up on uh, Cleethorpe's area. Thousands of starfish have washed up on the beach following a recent bad weather. About 4,000 of them laid strewn for miles. Uh, yeah, some video on that. Storms whip up ocean foam on Australian coast. Big party. What's in this foam? <laughs> Uh, some of the studies of the different foams I've heard. Ocean foam whipped up by wild seas blanketed beaches on the gold and sunshine coasts. A Gold Coast holiday maker, blah, 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 says the white froth came up from the foreshore and covering the pedestrian paths and picnic areas. And uh, did I... I know somebody was telling me that they did some studies on the foam on the east coast and ended up being sewage in the water. So uh, be careful on this pretty, pretty crazy weather for everyone. 6.0 earthquake in Kazakhstan, and that's all they've got going on tonight. Got a bunch of stuff going on on the extinction protocol as well. Mozambique flooding disaster worsens number of displaced expected to rise. And that's in Africa, of course. Uh, starving North Koreans are forced to eat their children. North Korea. This is with all the big nuclear stuff, and they're spending all kinds of money on that, aren't they? Hungry parents in North Korea have been caught eating their children to avoid starvation, according to reports. One father is said to have been executed by firing squad for killing his two kids for food, and it has sparked fears that there could be further cases of cannibalism in the country. That insane story continues. Poverty rampant earthquake, an earthquake hit Christchurch two years after um, the big disaster her, uh, earthquake. Horror stories of Christchurch families living in garages and tents continue to surface almost two years on, the, on from the February 2011 earthquakes. 
Some families are still st stranded in sheds or illegally overcrowding friends and relatives' houses. <sighs> and if you look into what's going on in Port-au-Prince, Haiti, that insanity continues as well. Things to look forward to when the powers that be will take care of us after big disasters, eh? Unending rivers of lava now flowing from Kamachka's Plasky uh, Tobolsk volcano. I'm sure I completely tore that name apart. Um, and that's on the peninsula on the, on the far east, a very active area volcanically just north of Japan. And they've got some pretty dramatic videos on that. Uh, Indonesia's Batu Tora volcano erupts with explosive 2.1 kilometer ash cloud into the sky. Uh, it's a volcanic island, very active, very active area. <clears throat> Over to the nuclear stuff. Uh, let's do any news. Fukushima disaster magma, uh, magna in Japan. Quote, the nuclear man by DC Comics in the U.S. Kids play with reactor toy sets. And this is just um, a story covering... Um, the desensitization and, and the integration of the nuclear industry into the family and, and how they're parting it into the culture, how it's okay to be nuclear, uh, when we all know it's really not. Severe labor shortages for Fukushima decontamination, fears over radiation exposure, and who can blame them. Uh, careful kids, when you're coming out of high school and you're doing those new intern jobs and they want to take you overseas, you want to be a big nuclear engineer, you might just end up in Fukushima. TEPCO working on pumping Fukushima groundwater into ocean directly. Drilling wells just outside reactor buildings. It's not a huge surprise, um, but you look outside the box a little bit. Uh, we have three major reactors that have been leaking into the ocean directly for years. And these numbers, they cannot hide in the radioactive fish. Uh, they can no longer have any place to store this highly radioactive water that they're trying to keep everything cool with, and they are now just dumping it directly into the Pacific Ocean uh, with no recourse or ramifications um, to one of the largest um, food baskets on this planet. They are killing, literally killing, the Pacific Ocean. And this has been going on for over two years. Every single day, every single day, Wake up. Wake up. Mass man attacks children on the edge of Fukushima evacuation zone. Now apparently, um, according to the police, a man who was wearing a sunglasses, a face mask, and knit cap burst into first floor classroom at a public high school just after 8 a.m. Uh, Fuji TV reported. A teacher who tried to stop him said he, he was swung hard, a object wrapped in a vinyl bag, the intruder injured six students. Two girls were taken to the hospital. Uh, there's an interesting comment in the reports that um, Danny J said on his comments, uh, my theory is that the teacher was braced and they did so by beating his students in front of him. The blunt option he was beating with was probably a dosimeter he ordered online or maybe teaching materials pertaining to radioactive materials. In either case, someone was given a lesson in proper behavior. And I am reminded of the assassination of Anna Linth, L-I-N-D-H. And uh, that sounds pretty credible in your could have been. Insane. Masked man attacks school children on the Fukushima evacuation zone. Police arrest animal rescuers inside Fukushima evacuation zone, quote, they cannot be contacted and are being charged with crimes. Uh, those animals they're trying to save are radioactive and a danger overall. What they do in Chernobyl, they ran around and killed everything. Everything. Top British paper, massive explosion believed to have damaged nuclear facility in Iran. And that's something I covered on my last report. Uh, that there are 250 people buried underground in Iran as we speak. And... Uh, some sabotage going on there, I'm thinking. Fukushima workers drill a new hole in unit number two. TEPCO to check for melted nuclear fuel. Uh, now this is the second time they've done this to this particular reactor, number two, um, that I can remember here in the last year or two. Uh, something definitely going on under two. 
Huge slick at sight of BP disaster in the Gulf of Mexico. Visible rainbow sheen and weathered oil not seen for months. You think the BP oil disaster is over, you are sadly mistaken as well. This stuff is just gearing up, kids. Uh, paper, U.S. military is still keeping quiet about. Women and children ordered to evacuate bases 300 kilometers from Fukushima when radiation alarms went off after 311. And I remember reporting on that exclusively that the United States was pulling everybody out uh, 300 kilometer zone. And I uh, believe that's on one of my climate change updates. Two oil, two oil barges slam into the bridge on the Mississippi River, both heavily damaged. Coast Guard trying to fix a 24 foot gash. Sheen reported miles away, still leaking Sunday evening. The insanity continues. And, uh, yeah, it just goes on and on and on and on, of course. Um, of course, if I missed anything, please let me know. Attach your comments or videos below. Enjoy what you can. I am. Thanks.